What's going on guys? Dennis Saglin here today. Here we are, about to make a video for you. Doug's in the bathroom currently taking a master dump. We're gonna do a leg workout video. He wants to shit. We're gonna work out legs, he wants to shit. We're gonna work out arms, he wants to shit. Yo, you alright? Yeah, man, that's a massive shit. What's wrong with you, man? I don't know, you ready to train abs? All right, guys, today we're gonna be doing a really insane ab workout and an awesome challenge at the end. I'm gonna show you guys my favorite ab workout of all time. I guarantee you, you're gonna be really sore after you do this. We're gonna go through it right now. Leave a like on this video if you're excited. Let's get started. All right, so our first exercise we did was a killer. This exercise is death. This exercise is one of the best ab things I can recommend you guys ever do. This is my favorite thing to do for abs. You're gonna need a partner for this. Uh, it's okay if you guys can't do the weight. It's okay if you guys can do the weight um, But I highly recommend you guys try this movement out uh, as you guys can see we're using a dumbbell I'm using a 20 pound dumbbell on my first set I'm doing this for 12 reps and I'm gonna go up in the weight as you guys are gonna see in these next couple of sets But all you basically need is a partner to stand behind you You just grab his ankles and it's very simple take the dumbbell bring it up to your partner Hope to God he doesn't drop it on your face and break your nose and uh, just go up and down with the movement So I have a slight bend in my uh, my knees, which is okay uh, try to get as low as you possibly can it's gonna feel like you're going really low like right here it felt like I was going all the way to the ground but there was a good I want to say almost a foot from the ground so try to get as close as you can to the ground try to keep a slight little bend in your knees um, make it as straight as you can but if you have a little bend it's okay and we're gonna do this first set for 12 you're really gonna feel this all over your abs it's gonna hurt you're gonna feel it in your legs too as you're moving as you guys see in the second set, I'm going up to the 25s, and now my abs feel a little bit warmed up, my legs feel a little bit warmed up. You're going to use almost your whole body on this. I mean, your arms are going to be really tough. You're going to be holding on to his calves really hard. You're going to be flexing as hard as you possibly can. You're going to be breathing extremely heavy. So as you guys see, as I get the weight, I'm going to be inhaling. As I'm going up with the weight, I'm exhaling. Then I'm inhaling as I go back down. Repeat. As you guys see, exhale right here. Inhale. Hold it. Hold it. And then exhale. And there you go. So we did the second set of 25 for 10 reps. And you guys are really going to feel this. I don't know if you guys can be able to do this weight or not. Um, if you can't, you can just do no weight. If you could even use a five pound dumbbell, you guys are going to feel it. And it's going to burn so bad. Like as I'm recording this video the day after I filmed this, I can't feel my abs. It hurts to breathe. I'm not even joking. Like I was trying to imitate your neck because I do that every single morning. And I was like, dog. Uh, I tried to say dog. And I couldn't do it because my my stomach locked up on me it hurt really bad it hurts in the morning especially the most but it's worth it you're gonna feel the pain for a couple of days that's how you know your abs are gonna be growing uh, most of the time I don't like to do weights I just like to do basic simple stuff and just like do three sets of ten or something every single day or every other day uh, because most of your abs do come from your diet it comes from what you're putting in your body and how much water you're drinking that's just my personal opinion but training abs and doing a weight exercise like this is gonna make your abs pop more and if you guys are into something like that, if you guys want to make your abs look more defined, if you guys want to make them bigger, definitely use weights. So I don't really use weights. I probably use them maybe once every two weeks, if that. But I wanted to show you guys my favorite ab exercises with weights. So I don't know if Dennis actually ever did this movement before, but I got to give him props because you guys can see his legs are really straight. Um, and you guys are going to see, like, as he's going up with the weight, you're going to see him using his entire lower body to try to get that weight up. See, just look how much he's struggling right there. That's the type of form you guys want to get. That's what you guys want to be doing when you're doing this exercise. Try to get as many reps as you possibly can. Moving on to the next exercise here. This is one of my favorites. My friend Shane put me on this one. Uh, it's another partner workout you're going to need. You might be able to do it without a partner, but it's really good if you have somebody to keep your ankles down, keep your legs as straight as possible. Take the bar, take any type of a bar. I just like to use a nice little small straight bar. And I put the weight on something light. I think I have it on 12 and a half pounds. Try to do this without any weight or try to do the most least amount of weight as possible at first. And you're really gonna feel this in your upper abs. You're gonna feel it in the center of your abs. It's gonna go all over your body, but especially your upper abs. I'm trying to show you guys a couple of ab routines from lower abs to upper abs to obliques and just overall core strength. So. This exercise, I think we did it for three sets of 12, or three sets of 12, 10, and then eight, and I went up in the weight every single time. And we're gonna superset this, you're gonna see with an oblique exercise, one of my other personal favorites. And, and how I get all these exercises, I just learned through a couple of my friends. I know you guys always ask, oh, what's a good routine in the gym? I get emails about it all the time. I see it in the comment section. Doug, what's a good routine? And I feel the best way to just respond to the mass popularity of you guys is just by making these videos weekly. So if you guys support these videos, if you guys wanna keep seeing stuff like this, let me know in the comments because I have endless amounts of training 
regimens, training routines, workouts for every single muscle that you guys could possibly do. I could show you guys my favorites like I'm doing today. Most of the times I just free run a workout and I just do whatever comes to my mind, but I specifically had this one set. Uh, as you guys see, this is like an oblique kickback, so you want to take like a, a little, you know, just like a little handle, uh, put the weight on something that's comfortable for you, and you want to kind of kick your leg up in the side. I'm going to explain it on the next set, but we're going to move into our second set here, and this burns really bad. Try to keep your legs as straight as possible, keep your arms as straight as possible, and get that body up in an L shape. It's going to hurt so bad man this this and the leg exercise everything that you guys are seeing right here is gonna hurt so bad and i promise you if you do this you're gonna be commenting back on this video saying doug you got me good man i was going so hard i just chipped off a piece of my tooth i swear to god yeah i chipped off a piece of my tooth bro look at that oh dude yo do you see anything's chipping from my teeth all right, so I actually didn't chip my tooth. I gotta be honest with you guys. I thought it was a piece of my tooth, but it's actually a piece of food. So moving into these kickbacks again, uh, I learned this from somebody that I know. Uh, I'm not even sure if I'm doing this correctly. I'm pretty sure I am because I feel this really, really hard in my oblique right now as we speak. Uh, you basically want to put your body sort of on an angle and you want to focus on getting a crunch in the side of your oblique. So now I'm doing it on my left side. So you want to have your right knee down and planted. Kick your left knee back. Try to move it as back far as you can. Almost as if you're doing a kickback with your leg and then move it as far in as you can. Try to get that knee kicked in and then use your upper body just to squeeze the oblique. So uh, we did three sets of that, supersetting it with this, as you guys are seeing on the screen now. I think this was my last set. It's really important to keep this thing straight above over your head. It's really easy to cheat on this and put the, the bar to your side, like on your shoulder, but it's a lot harder when you have it going straight up over your head. <laughs> man, oh man, just looking back at this right now is hurting so bad. Um, I believe this was the last set we did. And this is one of my favorite things to do for obliques. There's a, a super set I like doing with this and a rope that's on this cable. I could do it another time we do abs, but I just wanted to change it up and do my favorite routines for upper abs, lower abs, obliques. And uh, on this last set, as I said before, plant that right knee, kick that left leg back, kick it back in. Try to use mostly your oblique to do this entire exercise. Have your arm naturally just pull down and your leg just naturally kick back up when you're doing the exercise. Now for this, this is something I learned from Dan. Uh, unfortunately, Dan's in Ohio State, so I had to settle with Dennis when I'm doing this. I'm joking, but um, this is one of my favorite things to do for obliques. This probably hurts the most. As you guys see, I'm laying down on a flat bench. I'm moving my body all the way up so that my torso is on the side of the bench, and I have a 25-pound plate in my hands. You might want to do this with no weight at first. Make sure you have your partner plant firmly on your legs. Have them sit down and, and hold onto the bar and, and apply pressure so that your legs don't go up because it's easy for your body to go flying if you don't have somebody or something holding you down. Uh, we did this only for two sets of, I want to say, 12 on each side, but you're really going to feel this squeeze like having it with a weight just puts the icing on the cake uh every single thing we did today was with weights if you guys are too challenged by this if you guys can't do this that's okay do it without weights if you guys can do it with weights all the power to you i guarantee you if you do exactly what we just did in this video you guys are going to feel it but that's going to wrap it up for this part of the video we're going to be moving on to the challenge hope you guys all enjoy and please leave a like and comment and subscribe thank you all right, so we just finished up that killer, killer ab workout. We're finishing up with 100 crunches. We're gonna do the half crunches, not all the way to top to bottom. We're racing each other to 100. Are you ready to go? Yeah. Let's see who can do the worst tomorrow. Let's get it, bro. Ugh. Over 100. I know it. And then, 
I definitely did over 100. I know it. Yo, what? I fucking know it. Yo, you cheated. I definitely did over 100. Yo, you cheated. Bro, I did like 110. No way. I what did he do? Did you count that much? I was bro, not I, counting. Bro, you did Yo. more too. No, you I did 100. Count. I did 100. I counted every single rep. I did more than 100. Yo, comment down below who ah. did more, guys. I lost count. count. I lost count. What do you want me to fucking think about? I lost fucking count. I did exactly 100. I think I did over 100. Yo, honestly though, guys, if you do this air workout, make sure obviously you have a partner. If not, get this. Yo, this is what abs look like right after the workout. Oh, I can't even flex it. I can't even flex it. Oh, oh. oh my god. That was a killer air workout, oh. guys. A lot of fun. I had a pleasure filming this with Dennis. And shout out to Mike, who's holding the camera right now. Um, comment down below, guys. Let us know if you do this air workout at home, if you enjoyed this workout. One of my personal favorite. Uh, I got all these routines from myself, my friends, and I put them all together, and uh, it's killer. It hits guys, your upper abs, your lower abs. You, your to all you form Nazis, um, this is all about feeling the burn and feeling it. And if, it, if you feel it, you're good. Go straight on our fucking form. All right. That's it for today, guys. Hope you guys all enjoyed. Let us know which challenge you guys want to see next. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. It's me with Doug Sensor Martin. I'm out, guys. Peace.